All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video where today we will be taking on the 4.4 Spiral Abyss in its final few days without a DPS, because who needs a DPS when you have Nahida and Hyper Bloom? So yeah, what we're going to be doing is on the second half of Abyss, which is obviously where, you know, you have Weenath, Eon Blight, Drake, and the Ruin Serpent, who are some of the most annoying enemies in Abyss. We are going to be taking them on with this Nahida team, where we are using Nahida and Hyper Bloom, because it's a broken reaction, and very strong in single target and this abyss is very single target focused and these enemies are incredibly annoying especially the we not with annoying dps windows so without a massive dps window since this team has no real dps it should be pretty effective and then on the second half we're just going to do a regular novelad hyper carry team because this team seals a bunch of other characters i would have used otherwise so this is basically all we have left so yeah um, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Okay, so here we are in Chamber 1, and we start off with a normal and charge attack buff, which obviously is nice, very nice actually for our Novelette, but, and I mean, maybe we'll do something for our Nahida team, but not much. But yeah, anyway, just starting off here, obviously, uh, what I would normally do is I would normally go in the set, uh, like, go past these guys a bit so that then they group up and just kind of like, make out in the center, but since Novelette can hit both of them at the same time, that doesn't really matter. And since they die so quickly, what I might do here is I might, you know, conserve our Novelette's burst. Hopefully it doesn't affect our clear time too much. I mean, we should still be able to clear very easily with the Hyper Bloom team. I mean, I I haven't tested it out. I am just kind of going into this blind, so... I mean, it will probably work. Now, we will have to wait for our skill to come back just to kill these guys a little bit sooner, but... You know, it's fine. We'll still have this cleared within a minute, so that gives us two minutes on the second half. Remember, the goal is always to clear in 90 seconds, just so that, because, you know, you can, it's a nice average, 90 seconds, because, you know, combine the two and that, 90 seconds on both halves, and that's exactly how much time you need for three stars. Now, it is nice here that we can use our Night Alt without it being a time loss. I am sometimes a bit concerned about using Night Alt because I just feel like it could be nicer. And we do get sent flying there in the air by the Roan Serpent, but luckily we have Sing Cho's uh, res knockback resistance so that, you know, our character only goes flying instead of tumbling throughout the air. And, I mean, it looks like we're going to clear this quite quickly. Now, my goal is 7 minutes and 30 seconds just because, you know, we conserved 30 seconds on the first half. Now, okay, the real test is whether Hyperbloom can knock down this phase of the Ruin Serpent, because if it can, then this might be one of the best Ruin Serpent teams, but it seems like it can't unless I do something really specific, because if I'm being honest, to this day, I still do not know how to knock it out of that phase, other than sometimes do a big hit and get lucky. Now, again, we will be able to clear this within 90 seconds as well. This is essentially a 70 second clear. Uh, I mean, no, it's basically a one minute clear, if we're being honest here. So, yeah, I mean, this spinny phase is a bit annoying, but he should die shortly. And there you go. So, yeah, that's chamber one done. And now it's on to chamber two. Okay, and now it's on to chamber two, where we actually get a plus 80 EM buff, which is useful for our Nahida team. So, yeah, that's a nice little bonus, but now, first of all, we have to focus on the first half. Now, what we want to do here is we want to make sure we kill the little bird first, because all these guys are grouped up other than the bird. So, uh, yeah, there we go. And now these guys will just absolutely get melted. So, yeah, they die in 20 seconds. So, I would expect this to be another one-minute clear time, which, I mean, you know, obviously, Novelette is broken, but it's nice to be able to do this with a free-to-play build, free -to -play build on all our characters, so if I can do it without being very good at the game, so can you, and you can also, which means you can spare, to use a little Nahida Hyper Bloom team. Now, I will say another alternative you could use is that instead of uh, Sing Cho or Yelan, if you don't have one of them, so like if you don't have Yelan, you could use uh, Farina instead, just because she does give extra Hydra. I mean, realistically, you could use whoever you, you want. You could also use a second Dendro, have them carry the um, Dendro Red Shred, uh, Deep Wood, that's the name, and have Nahida on Gilded, but this is just the way I like having the team with two Hydro sub DPS, just for a quick Hydro application. And yeah, now let's see how much damage we do here. We do have all of our ults up, and we are doing a fair bit of damage. And I mean, and that's a fair amount of the Weenot's HP bar. Obviously, the first couple of seconds was just us trying to, you know, get all our ults up, but also make sure we have enough energy for when he goes down. 
So now the goal is here, is that we have to knock down the Weenot. We're going to try to do it with Singcho's ult, or skill rather. And there you go. Now, if we didn't, we could have used uh, Yolan's ult. That would have also worked. But uh, yeah, now we just DPS and we do quite a lot of it. Now, as you can see, we are hitting around 20k Hyper Blooms, you know, slightly more. And we've actually done a great amount of his HP bar. So as I said, Hyper Bloom very effective against this guy because it's very strong in single target. It just does a lot of damage. Now, like, okay, there this guy is. And now once again, we go into our cookie skill. And when he stands up, once again, we just DPS. And he should go down very shortly. Yep, there you go. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, once again, we've cleared this pretty quickly. Now, obviously there are teams where you could clear this, clear this quicker, but... Uh, I'd say for we not this is pretty decent time. I kind of forgot how much time we took on the first half But I'd say you know once again, we did a pretty decent job So with we not down that there goes the most annoying chamber and now we move on to chamber 3 and the Eon Blight Drake All right now real quick We are on chamber 3 and we get an elemental skill damage, which I think might actually increase now he does Picks on her skill, you know when she does her little Akasha mark. I think it's called something like that but yeah, now let's really quickly just disp dispatch this floor. It's once again just quite an easy one. Go up to this guy. The purple one will group up to you shortly. There we go. Now they're both standing next to each other. And we can just abuse both of them basically. So yeah, 52k ticks as you would expect from a Novlet plus a Farina. Uh, obviously, if you want to see the quality of our character builds, that will be at the end of the video. As it always is. So stick around for that if you want to see how well built my characters are. But um, yeah, these guys are going to die within the minute once again. So yeah, I mean, we can clear this in... Okay, we cleared that floor in 45 seconds. So we have a lot of time for the Umblight Drake. Now, the nice thing is here, he has a little phase where he is just on the ground. And we can hit him still with our alts and get the uh, skill points back. Oh, not skill points, energy. Oh, wrong game. Now, oh, okay, I missed my first shot. Uh, okay, that didn't count. So I did take a little bit longer on knocking him down than I would have expected. That is kind of a skill issue. Um, I thought I'd play enough FPS games to hit those by now, but I guess not. So uh, yeah, I mean, we still have... Okay, we don't have our Hydro application anymore, so we need to get that back up for our uh, Bloom cores, for our Hyper Bloom, of course. But uh, yeah, now I'm guessing, you know, I might as well just ult here. We're also doing 31Ks on our Hyper Blooms. And, you know, it is just nice here seeing all the damage numbers. That's one of the most fun parts about this team. We get we see a lot of numbers. Now, he should once again do his little thing where he absorbs. There we go. He would have gotten Danger Res. And now we can just absolutely nuke him. So there you go. We clear in 1 minute 15 seconds with the Nahida team on the Eon Blight Drake. 45 seconds with Nivellet for a 2 minute clear time in the Final Chamber of Abyss. So yeah, there we go, that's it for the run, and let's move on to the character builds. So yeah, there you have it, as you can see, Hyper Boom can basically carry you through the entirety of Abyss. So when it comes to our Nahida build, basically we have 900 EM, we have like 40 crit and 70 crit damage, but that doesn't matter too much, barely any uh, EM. We have our own Sack Frags, just because it's the weapon which gives us the most EM, and we have our own Deep Wood. Built on fully M just for the uh, Dendro Rest Shred. And she is C0 and her talents are 2108. When it comes to our Sing Show, one of our sub DPS, 50 crit rate, 118 crit damage, and 220 ER. Honestly, you could go for a bit less, plus 5, just for some extra battery. Could go for a bit less, but because we are in double DPS, but who cares? And then C6 and 2911 talents. When it comes to our Yelan, she's on 60 crit rate, 172 crit damage, nearly 200 ER, once again on 5. And on Emblem, builds as you would expect, C0, and 1610 talents. Now our cookie over here is on 862EM, uh, but that will go up to, I believe, uh, one, yeah, it will go up to 960, including uh, Gilded Dreams. And then, obviously, we have a weapon here, not fully level up, but who cares, gets the job done. Uh, just build fully M for the Hyper Blooms, 197, just for a bit of extra healing. 
and C5 with C1 being the AB increase and C2 being the duration increase just to sort of increase our DPS window and to make her easier to play. Then our Nivellet is on 44 curry, but this goes up to 80 to 217 thanks so much to say. And 125 VR just for that little bit of extra energy considering we don't have uh, his weapon on R5, prototype Amber that is. And then we just have him build HP, Hydro Damage and Crit Damage as you would expect. Uh, C0 and 1088 Talons. Our Farina on the other hand is on 61 curry, 200 Crit Damage exactly which is just a satisfying number. 173 R on Fav, R5, on Golden Troop, HP, HP, Crit Damage as you would sort of expect. And C0 and 2910 Talons. And then just real quick, our gene is on Sack and on Veridescent, just for the red shred, C1, 117 Talons. And then a 52 healing bonus and 260 ER, just so that we get enough healing and um, healing and energy. And then our uh, attack, attack, healing bonus, just for the extra healing. And then our Zhongli is on uh, 54k HP without double hydro. Uh, just, you know, just a shield buff build on Tenacity, just for the slight extra buffs. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. That's it for this video. Uh, hopefully I will see you guys in the next video, which will be the 4.5 Spiral Abyss as soon as that comes out. And we will also have an Akron pulling video for Honkai Star Rail coming out soon. And probably another Memory of Chaos video or either that or a Pure Fiction video. So yeah, those that's our upcoming content. But if you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment because it helps out the channel. And yeah, see ya.